after you've kind of broken into the preliminary pool training, you know, the second day comes, we're gonna up the ante a little bit. Did everybody get a good rest last night? Okay, good, you're gonna need it. You're gonna need it. <laughs> There will be some underwater stuff. You're going to be running with dumbbells under the water. You're going to be learning a lot of this stuff that really starts to tick it up a little bit, and then you're going to go through another workout. Any questions? Come on over. And as the XPT participants get ready to undergo their greatest test to date, one of Laird and Gabby's longtime friends arrives to help show the newcomers how it's done. Hey uh, my name is Johnny C. McGinley. People probably know me from Scrubs or Platoon or The Rock, or so people know me as a storyteller. So team up. Yeah, team up. Gabby invited me to XPT to the pool component of the three-day seminar, and I was flattered to be included. And I came up and I met a young man named Justin, who was a strapping young buck. We started in the pool, and I had a I had a special guest coach. So John, one of Laird and Gabby's friends, who's been a regular at the workouts, I got paired up with him. And this guy is a beast. I took Justin down into the deep end, and he struggled at first because it's very disorienting being down 11 feet below the surface of the water and figuring out how you're going to get up there. Don't get into that habit of double kicking at the surface. Nice. You're going to kill yourself. You're just going to kill yourself. John was giving me a lot of instruction. This guy is super direct. So when I was doing something good, he was like, man, you just, you know, the way you had your posture was awesome. And when I wasn't doing right, he's like, man, that sucked. There's a, a profound usefulness in the pool when people are panicking to acknowledge their panic and get them past it because it's not going to work out. And so we got to get past the panic. And you can, when the eyes start bugging out and there's no oxygen, fear is a really tricky thing for men to assimilate. To not panic and know that there is plenty of air up there and you can get back up there. You chose to hold on to your weights. You went back down to the bottom and you exploded back up and got the air. It was great. And so when you see the panic, we got to get past it. And, and sometimes you just need a good shake. And there, you just got past it. Look at that. Now we can move on. So much better. So much better. 100%. More relaxed and just more hydrodynamic, more efficient. No jerking at the surface. Just really lovely. <laughs> 